genes can be quite long with a large number of nucleotides. And the proteins they encode can be long with a large number of amino acids. Mutations which change certain nucleotides or certain amino acids in the protein can therefore be different from other mutations at different spots of the gene which affect different areas of the protein. Sometimes different mutant alleles can cause different mutant phenotypes. So for example, with the Drosophila gene white, the original mutations isolated caused the normal brick red eyes to be a bright white in color. However, different mutations at different points of the gene can cause, instead of a white color, an apricot color. And there is an allele of the white gene known as white apricot. Another mutation in this white gene is named white buff, another white blood, another white coffee, another white eosin, another white mottled orange, another white satsuma, another white tinged. So mutations in different position of the gene can affect different areas of the protein and can result in different mutant phenotypes. So therefore, there can be a number of alleles. There can be multiple alleles for a specific gene. This is something which Mendel did not observe.